everybody. Hope you're having a great day out there. Before we get started with today's video, I want to thank everybody. We're at 20,800 subscribers, almost at 21,000. This is going to be a great year for the channel, and I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. Also, I want to remind you, you can become a member to the channel now for just 99 cents a month. It's an easy way to support the content you like and also support the channel. And the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions are actually going to be completely weeded out by the end of the month, and all those perks will transfer over to the eBuzz Central member. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over something that's kind of scary for some people. Let me go ahead and back out of this screen. We're going to do this inside of Tuxedo OS on the Tuxedo laptop, which I will be covering in a future video. This thing has been great, but we're going to cover something that scares a lot of new users and a lot of old users love it and that's going to be in the terminal what we're going to cover today is we're going to do linux terminal commands that everybody should know and we're going to try to get it done in under 10 minutes and the first we're going to start off with is the ls command which will list all the files in your current working directory which is desktop documents, downloads, D helper, music, pictures, public, templates, videos, and virtual machines. Now if you put in ls-l that will give you a nice breakdown of your list right there. And then if you wanted to, you could also go ls-al, and it will also show you your hidden items that are on your machine. So if you didn't know those already, go ahead and write those down. Now Linux can sometimes be confusing. If you want to know where you are, all you got to do is let's clear this. And what you'll want to type in is pwd, and it'll show you where you are. eBuzz Central, eBuzz Central, Tuxedo, we're at the home directory. Now. If you wanted to change that, all you'd have to do is change directory. You could put a slash. That'll take you to the home. And boom, you're in the home directory. And now you're all set there. So PWD shows you where you are. CD lets you change where you are. Or you could specify a specific path. CD-user slash bin. And then that will take you to user slash bin. This will pretty much take you to any directory you want. Once you're in that directory, you could always fall back on ls. And boom, there's everything that's in it. So let's go ahead and clear and go back to reset. And let's change our directory back to home. And there we go. Next would be touch, which is the easiest and quickest way to create a file. Then you could put in something like a, a file.txt. And boom, you've created a file.txt. That's where your stuff is right there. Now, if you want to edit a file, like a pro, just put in nano, and you could put in the file name. I'm just going to put in new file awesome, and it'll bring it up, and as you can see, you can edit whatever you wanted to in here. You know, we are doing stuff, and then that's a quick way to edit inside of the terminal. Now, if you wanted to exit out of here, all you got to do is click control X. Do you want to save it? I'm going to say no, and then we're going to clear, and that'll take us back to the top. Now, if you're a Linux Pro that thinks you're uh, exceedingly better than everybody else, you could just type in Vim and then put new file. And then it'll open up Vim and you can do whatever you needed to do from there. We will go ahead and exit out of this and get back to the next one. Now, if you wanted to make a new directory, you could make mkdir command, mkdir new directory and it will create a new directory for you. Now, if you've got a new directory, you can create a file or you can copy a file with the CP command, CP. Then you would specify your file, hit enter, and it would automatically put it in there. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go ahead and clear, go to the top. Now, if you don't wanna copy the file, you can move the file. You could use like the MV command and you could put uh, my file dot great and that would move it missing destination for your file so what you would have to do is my file or mb my file dot great and then specify what directory you wanted to put it in and it would move it there so that's what mb would do so let's go ahead and clear go to the top now to remove a file what you would do is remove rm and then put in the name of the file so if i had great dot file you'd hit enter it would remove that rm removes a file so all you'd have to do is be in the certain directory so if you went to that directory rm put the file name in it will remove it so let's go ahead and clear now if the terminal's dirty or if it's all covered with stuff you can use the command i've been using which is clear that'll automatically wipe everything off and take you to the top if you don't know who you are you can type in who am i and it'll bring it up and show you you are eva central the man command will help you with things you don't know which is a lot for me so 
we'll put in man, M-A-N, you can man cat. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And right here, it shows you number of empty output files, uh, cat, concatenate files and print on the standard output. So you got different utilities you can use right here. Q to quit, we'll go ahead and quit, go back to the top. And you could do man, man, and it'll bring up all the different interfaces that you have here and give you a lot of different information. So that's just another definite thing that you might want to play around with if you're new to Linux and new to the terminal. We'll quit, clear, and go back to the top. Now, if you want to find a specific file from terminal, you could put in sudo find forward slash dash name of the file, which we would put here, and I would put in test, and then hit enter, and it would search everywhere for that file. Put in the password, and it'll go look for it. See right there, it's checking every single directory. You can do that from right there inside the uh, terminal. It makes things really simple. It makes it easy for you to find a specific file. So let's clear and go back to the top. You could also find all hidden files by sudo find dot dash type f dash name. Then what you'd want to put right here is quotation marks dot asterisk quotation marks hit enter and there's all of your hidden files you can scroll through those if you want to and it helps you find things that you might not be able to find just scrolling through the file manager so let's go ahead and clear and go to the top now if you wanted to find empty directories you put in find dot slash type f dash empty and it'll bring up all the empty directories that you have on there. Or you could find all executables. We could go clear, find, dot, dash, perm, forward slash, a, equal, sorry, equal x. Hit enter. There's all your executables right there. Makes things real simple. When you learn these things, you can do this in terminal really quick. Now, if you wanted to make a file, let's say, uh, executable, you can come over here and chmod. Uh, put plus X and then the name of the file. Let's say it was test.sh. You would hit enter and it would execute it. It'd be set up to where it would execute for you. It makes things really simple. Really simple once you learn the terminal. Now, what's your IP address? Let's go IF config. Oh, Lord, you don't have it. Let's go ahead and install it. sudo apt install net dash tools. If you notice, that's what it says right here. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, it's installed. IF config. Boom. Right down here, it's got all your great information. It's going to have your IP address. So you'll have all that information for your system. So let's go ahead and clear. Or you can also try IP address, which, I mean, makes a little better sense sometimes, but it makes it easy for you to see. And then you can come up here and it's got all the good information that you need. So let's go ahead and hit clear and back to the top. Now, what if you want to see the name of your server? Let's go ahead and clear that. Let's go cat etc resolve without the e dot comp and it'll bring it up. And there's your name server right there. See how easy that is? Let's go ahead and clear. Go back to the top. Now, if you wanted to have a little better name on that server, you could go resolve with the E, CTL, dot status, and it'll bring it up right here. Protocols, uh, DNS server name, DNS domain, hitronub dot home. So you've got a lot of good information there. So let's go ahead and hit Q. Let's go ahead and clear and go back to the top. Now, if you wanted to test, let's say your ping, let's go ahead and put uh, ping youtube.com ping to youtube.com 64 bytes 64 bytes and our ping is 36.5 milliseconds 37 so it kind of gives you the ping of what you're getting on your system now if you don't want it to keep going just hit Control c it'll stop clear that out ping is done now if you wanted to limit it you could go ping let's say dash c let's go five times and YouTube dot com it'll show you five times that it pinged it 36.7 36.4 36.7 37.7 packets transmitted five received no packet loss and it lets you know what the timing of that is so let's go ahead and clear 
And that was just a few Linux commands that I think would definitely help you. Now I'm going to throw in a couple bonus ones here. What if you want to know what kernel you're presently running on your Linux operating system? Uname dash R. Hit enter. We're running 6.0.0-1006-OEM. That's another helpful command. Now that's not all you can do with Uname. You can go Uname by itself, which is Linux. If you type in Uname dash A, it'll tell you quite a bit. Linux, Ebo Central, Gen 2 Pulse 15 Tuxedo Computer. Uh, operating system is based on Ubuntu, 64-bit. Now if you want a pretty version of this, you can type in NeoFetch. And it gives you a nice breakdown right there. Kernel, name of your OS, kind of get a nice little thing there. Let's clear this out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do this again, NeoFetch. And if you wanted it a little bigger, we could come over here and make it a little bigger and make it easier for you to see. And that was just a few of the Linux commands out there that will help you navigate the terminal. Uh, if you're new to it, there's probably a lot of things that you saw there that you didn't know about. And if you're somebody that's an old head, I probably went over stuff that really made your viewing experience boring. So if I did that, I'm sorry. But please, I need input on this video. Do you think I did a good job? Do you think those commands in there will help you in your Linux journey? Please drop those in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.